What is up guys, it's your boy Grenadier Cacus, and today we are going to be showcasing a group of weapons that will absolutely skyrocket in value. Like these weapons will become some of the best weapons in the entire game in only a few days when Episode Revenant launches. So you want to acquire these weapons if you don't have them, take them out of your vault, out of your collection, infuse them up, get the catalyst for them, get them ready so that you can dominate the new meta. And so let's get started. Now, first off, this group of weapons is going to be grenade launchers. And the reason for that is that there are multiple seasonal artifact perks that will massively boost the power of grenade launchers. Let's take a look at them. First of all, you have Overload Breach Loaded Grenade Launcher. Obviously, being able to stun champions with a special is really awesome. After that, guys, you then have Rapid Impacts. Dealing damage with a grenade launcher temporarily increases the reload speed of grenade launchers. Just more damage output. Then you've got Kinetic Impacts. Sustained damage with a power grenade launcher causes the combatant to emit a shockwave that damages nearby combatants and the shockwave can stun unstopped champions. That could be really good for DPS. But the real powerhouse artifact mod that will single-handedly warp the meta around it is going to be Concussive Reload. Using a grenade launcher to damage a boss, damage a champion, or break a combatant shield weakens them. And then you can boost it with a tonic so that using a grenade launcher to damage bosses, champions, or break shields automatically reloads stowed weapons as well. This was actually in the game before. And this is how I know how powerful it is. Many years ago, there was an artifact perk called Breach and Clear, and it had the same effect. Grenade launchers will weaken bosses, champions, or enemies that you break shields for. And guys, again, it warped the entire meta around it. Everyone was using nothing but grenade launchers for the entirety of the season. Being able to bring a weaken effect with you by simply shooting a powerful enemy is just so useful. It means you don't need tether, you don't need tractor can, you don't need any other weaken effects. Your grenade launchers, which are already powerful, will do that for you. So let's go over the best of the best grenade launchers that will benefit most from those seasonal artifact perks. First and foremost, it has got to be the Wither Horde. Last time Breach and Clear was in the game, this was the creme de la creme of your loadout. And the reason is because it provides damage over time. So you would shoot a boss with a Wither Horde, and it was literally like tethering that boss, because every tick of damage will reapply that weaken effect. And the best part is that if you have the catalyst, you get auto loading holster. So you were literally able to keep a boss weakened an entire damage phase even for like a raid boss fight a dungeon boss fight just with one person having a wither horde incredibly incredibly powerful like this thing will absolutely skyrocket in value because of that now in that same vein guys we also need to mention the anarchy this again was used quite a bit last time Breach and Clear was in the game. However, it has since been nerfed quite a bit. But if you're in a pinch, if you already have someone using Wither Horde and you want to have an alternative, whatever, the Anarchy is also going to apply that damage over time for that continuous reapplication of Weaken on a powerful target like a boss. And then we also need to shout out a new one here, the Lost Signal. This is a new grenade launcher from Episode Echoes, and because it's an area denial frame, the first ever area denial frame, this also ticks over time. Not as long as the Wither Horde, but it's kind of like the legendary version of the Wither Horde. And again, it's not about the damage. This, in terms of damage against a boss, is going to be trash, right? But it's just about applying that constant weaken effect. And this is going to let you, you know, get that continuous damage over time reapplication of weaken. But then you can have an exotic slot for another powerful weapon. And some of which we're going to talk about in a sec. And not to mention it's stasis. And stasis is a featured element next season. There's a lot of powerful seasonal artifact perks that boost stasis. So... After that, guys, the next group of weapons we got to talk about are the weapons specifically getting buffs. First off, the Fighting Lion. So you want to use a grenade launcher next season? Well, the Fighting Lion is a primary ammo grenade launcher, aka infinite 
ammo, and it's actually pretty decent. The buff it's getting is pretty simplistic. As you can see here, it now will make enemies volatile. That's really good, really easy to apply. So you are now just gonna have an infinite ammo grenade launcher that also causes volatile explosions. And therefore, since volatile is a keyword, it's gonna have even more synergies with uh, void builds, right? So this is just getting outright better. The next grenade launcher getting outright better is going to be the X Dyrus. This has sat in a lot of people's vaults for quite a while, I bet, but it is getting some huge buffs. As you can see here, like a 30% uh, percent increase in direct impact damage. It's going to trigger the loyal moths more often, and it's going to trigger them just for continuous damage. For two hits on a singular target, you don't need to get kills anymore. And... That's really good. I mean, more damage, It's the projectiles are gonna fly flatter and straighter, and you're gonna spawn more seeking moths that go out and blind targets. And if you have the catalyst, it's one of the easiest ways to get amplified in the entire game. Literally just a final blow, any final blow will give you amplified, and then you get another one, it just reapplies amplified. Again, you are gonna be amplified 100% of the time using the x Tyrus. Honestly, might not be a bad option. And again, it's going to be weakening guys as well. Now, after that, we have the Prospector. This is a heavy grenade launcher, and this is going to be a hard one to judge because it's kind of getting the buff, but it's also really just getting a complete rework. No longer are you going to have the sticky grenades. No longer are they going to do the weird fire damage. Instead, it's going to have these massive cluster bomb explosions, and that could be really good. Like, we are talking potentially a massive boost in power. This already has a 165 rounds per minute rate of fire. And if you look here, if I go to a rapid fire frame grenade launcher, like this Love and Death, it only has 150. So that means the Prospector shoots faster than the fastest archetype for legendary grenade launchers in the entire game. So the damage output for the Prospector could actually be crazy, guys. Moving on from there, let's talk about the next group of weapons I want to shout out, and that is just heavy grenade launchers, right? Yes, you're not going to be able to stun overload champions with heavy grenade launchers because specifically it's like breach and clear, but they're also going to be weakening. So, you know, something like the interference, which has been around for a while, but honestly, more commonly, I'm sure a lot of you guys have a decent, decent edge transit. Guys, Think about how absolutely busted it's going to be next season. Like the Edge Transit has already been smelting bosses f since it came out. Like we have been absolutely destroying bosses with Edge Transit for quite a while. And now you're telling me that it's going to also weaken those bosses? J the first shot, that the first shot is going to do normal damage. And then every other shot after that, you know, with your massive boosted envious assassin mag is going to be hitting a weakened target. So that means the hunter, again, hunter doesn't need to use tether. They can just use golden gun, right? Like this is super, super powerful. And you don't have to switch around your loadout too much. You're probably already using an edge transit. Now it's just going to be massively, massively better. And frankly, really like every heavy grenade launcher that has a halfway decent DPS uh, role is just going to be insane. But moving on from there, guys, the next group of grenade launchers I want to shout out is the DPS oriented breach loaded grenade launchers. And the best example is the old school ignition code. So this thing could actually get spike grenades combined with slide shot. So you can shoot, slide, shoot, slide, shoot. And you could get out, especially if you have something like Vorpal Weapon, you could get out a ridiculous amount of damage. Now, this has not been meta for years, but you know the last time it was meta? When Breach and Clear was in the game, because it turns out, you know, the first shot weakening and the next shot slamming into an already weakened enemy, you know, with spike grenades, with Vorpal, you actually chunk enemies you are shooting. And another example is mountaintops. A lot of you guys have good mountaintop rolls that have perks that will increase the damage and a direct impact actually does a decent amount of damage, especially if that enemy is weakened. So again, like mostly you're using grenade launchers for like ad clear or blinding, etc. But there is a segment that just hit hard and with that weakening artifact perk in the game, again, last time it was in the game, these were actually viable to just absolutely 
chunk, you know, champions and more powerful enemies you were coming across. But after that, guys, the next group of weapons I really want to talk about is going to be those aforementioned blinding grenade launchers, right? Uh, and a great example here is the Lingering Dread. This thing specifically might absolutely like skyrocket in value. And that's because, again, it's stasis and it has chill clip. So it's got literal stasis synergies built in and it's an auto-loading blinding grenade launcher. So importantly about these blinding grenade launchers is again, like they were already part of the meta, people were already using them, they're already very good. Now you have that extra utility of, oh, there's a champion, I'm just gonna direct impact this champion. You know, we already stunned him, let's say, you direct impact him and now he's weakened. So all the blinding grenade launchers that were you were using for crowd control for all these other values now also serve the effect of they're just going to weaken enemies, you sh powerful enemies, you shoot. That is crazy good. So this is, again, just going to be something that you are way more often incorporating into your loadout because it also provides that additional weaken effect. But then, guys, let's talk about wave frame grenade launchers. And I'm just going to use this Martyr's Retribution here with a fantastic heal clip plus incandescent roll as an example. But there's a lot of god tier wave frame grenade launchers out there. And they're super popular because wave frames are one of the best ways to add clear in the entire game. So if you enjoy using wave frames, they're just getting outright better next season, right? Like they're now going to be able to weaken powerful enemies you hit. They're going to be reloading faster, which especially with something like this heal clip martyrs is going to make a big difference. Uh, but overall, they are not the best against bosses, right? You may end up using something again, like the wither horde, something like those direct impact rocket launchers over these because they're just not gonna be chunking champions and bosses. But again, if you want something for ad clear, whew, these are going to be great next season. And just the last thing I wanna shout out, kind of a one-off here, is going to be the Salvation's Grip. Now, we've talked about stasis grenade launchers having some extra value. Well, this is about as stasis as it gets. It literally shoots out a ton of different stasis crystals, and you have specific seasonal artifact perks that buff stasis crystals. There's one that makes breaking stasis crystals emit out like ice that will additionally damage enemies. Like That is going to be crazy with the Salvation's Grip. And again, it's just a heavy grenade launcher coded in the game so definitely this is something to keep your eye on guys really whatever your favorite grenade launcher is and especially if it is one of the ones i've recommended today 100 get it ready to go for episode revenant because grenade launchers are just going to dominate the pve meta the second that episode goes live guys that is it for the video. Hope you enjoyed and found this informative. If you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys want to see more Destiny 2 content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. If you want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at Rick Kakis. That is linked in the description down below. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video and as always, have a good day.